Hey, what's up, guys? I'm St. Wolven, and today we're going to talk about Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, did the studio actually abandon Mass Effect Andromeda? Well, apparently they did. Now, there is this update um, from the studio that created Mass Effect Andromeda that says the following. Since the release of Mass Effect Andromeda, we've worked hard to address feedback from our community. From improving animations to expanding customization options, we look to respond to your concerns and build on what you loved. With each patch, you let us know we were heading in the right direction, and we're grateful to everyone who joined us on this journey. We're proud of what we created, and we hope you enjoyed it as well. In early development, we decided to focus Mass Effect Andromeda's story on the Pathfinder, the exploration of the Andromeda galaxy, and the conflict on the Archon. With the Archon, sorry. The game was designed to further expand on the Pathfinder's journey through this new galaxy with story-based Apex multiplayer missions. We will continue to tell the stories in the Andromeda Galaxy through, uh, through our upcoming comics and novels, including the fate of the Quarian Arc. Our last update, 1.10, was a final update for Mass Effect Andromeda. There are no planned future patches for single-player or in-game story content. In the coming weeks, our multiplayer team will provide details of their ongoing support and upcoming content, including new multiplayer missions, uh, character kits, and what's in store for N7 Day. We appreciate all the millions of people who came with us to the Andromeda Galaxy. We hope to see you again in the Mass Effect universe. The Mass Effect Andromeda team. This is so fucking depressing. <laughs> to like an insane, like, I don't, I don't even know what to say. It's just so sad. It's just such a shame. You could see how, like, the studio was actually trying, you know? The studio was really trying to make a game that they would like. Um, they were really trying to, like, fix their mistakes. Um, if you read Kotaku's uh, report or whatever, it basically said that um, it was a mess, you know? They were understaffed. Uh, one one studio was kind of talking about the other. They they were talking to the other and giving them advice, but the other studio didn't take it too well. Um, it was like it was a complete mess. Like one studio um thought the other studio was actually sabotaging them. Like it was, it was really sad. And you know the fact that I I personally was a very ma uh huge Mass Effect uh fan makes this like even more depressing. You know. I bought a uh, Mass Effect Deluxe Edition. Like I bought the fucking Deluxe Edition, <laughs> and they didn't. They don't sell that where I live. Like I actually had to like order it through Amazon, and the fucking shipping costs probably half of the damn game. Actually, no, the fucking shipping is more expensive than the game. So it was really sad um, to know that like they just left it. They just kind of like abandoned it. Like, they even closed, I, if I'm not mistaken, they actually closed the, uh, the studio, they actually closed Montreal, and they made it a support studio, too, like, to the other larger, uh, larger studios. Okay, but I have a question, though, like, if you could put all that fucking time into making Anthem, like, Anthem, like, okay, fine, like, okay, it's important that you make new IPs and whatever, but, like, really? Like, you, you had to make Anthem when Mass Effect Andromeda was coming? Really? Like, you couldn't, you couldn't take fucking time out of your fucking busy schedule, EA, to make Anthem some other time? Like, seriously, Anthem, Anthem is not new. Like, Anthem is the fucking cheap ripoff of Destiny, Titanfall, and a jungle. Like, and a random ass jungle. Like, okay, yeah, you can fly, and you're in a suit. Like Titanfall. Oh no, but you have your own story. Like fucking Destiny. Like it's not it's not something new. It's not something creative like Mass Effect used to be back in the day. Like Mass Effect Mass Effect was the pioneer, you know? Like Mass Effect actually created something. Like Anthem is just like, okay, okay, this is popular, you know, let's make this. You know, let's make like a little hybrid between Titanfall and Destiny and see what comes out of it. And that's Anthem. Like, I doubt I personally doubt that, like, a lot of people are stoked about Anthem. Like, it looks like a good game. Okay, fine. It looks like a decent game. But, like, who cares? Like, okay, I'm not, I know I'm being, like, really harsh. But, like, honestly, like, who cares? It's, it's just, it's not nothing new. It's not anything new. Like, it's not something people are actually waiting for. They're like, oh, oh my god, I want to play Anthem. I'm so excited. Like, no, like, no one, no one actually cares enough to be like excited about Anthem. They're just like, oh, it looks like a cool game. Like maybe we'll play it. You know, like that's 
that's how people think about Anthem. It's not like Andromeda that people are like, oh my god, yeah. Like, I can't believe after five fucking years of waiting, we're probably gonna, we're finally gonna have a Mass Effect game. They, they couldn't even, like, make a decent multiplayer. Like, the multiplayer was the worst part. And I don't think Mass Effect Andromeda was a bad game. I think it had, like, I don't know, like, 7.5 out of 10, I guess. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was just not good to Mass Effect standards, you know? Mass Effect standards is, like really high like for example the best part of mass effect was the storytelling like the way that you would connect to the characters and it's sad to know that you know they could have made that they, they could have made that better but they didn't because they weren't given the chance to do so for example um the scott Ryder and cora scene when they uh, updated it like it was so good like the animations in that scene were um and they, they were incredible and you kind of wished that those were the animations in the rest of the game and it's so, it's just so, it's such a shame. Like, it's just, I, I think it's bullshit. And, um, like, even the characters, they, they aren't, like, they aren't just bad. They're just, ugh. <laughs> it's just, like, a pain to, like, connect with them. For example, PB is not, not, is nowhere near, like, Liara. Like, PB is just, like, I don't know, PB's, I don't know. I don't know what to think about PB. I like PB, but she's just, she's just not the same as Liara. Like, you didn't see the same connection you didn't see like an innocence or you didn't see anything like that like everyone tried to be funny in that game and it's not you know that's just it's just cheap comedy you know it's just sad um i also believe i don't know i believe mass effect tried to, to like copy dragon age inquisition i don't know if it's just my impression but like so many parts of mass effect were like not mass effect <laughs> for example the whole exploration thing like, I get it to some extent, but, like, that's not Mass Effect, you know? Like, Mass Effect was usually based more on the story than on the exploration. What, like, points, uh, kudos for, like, the combat, because I love the combat system. I think it's really good. But other than that, like, the story is sort of weak. It's, I don't know, the story is, like, a 5, a 6, sort of. And um, the exploration, I don't know, it's fine. Like, it's cool, I guess, but, like, it was it isn't what you expect from a Mass Effect game. That's something you would expect from, like, a Dragon Age game. Like, it's literally Dragon Age Inquisition in space. And Dragon Age Inquisition had such a better story. I don't know why, but I think it's because, like, it had a way to connect all the games. I don't know if it's just me, but if you played, like, for example, um, Dragon Age uh, Origins... Or Dragon Age 2, like, there were some, like, parts of the game, for example, if you romanced, uh, Isabella in Dragon Age 2, um, when Hawk came to talk to you in Inquisition, like, they would mention Isabella, and, um, and in Dragon Age Origins, if, uh, the Grey Warden was with Liliana, like, the Grey Warden would send a letter to the Inquisitor, um, asking her to, like, uh, pay attention to Liliana or something like that, like, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's just not very Mass Effect-y. Like, I didn't consider the game too Mass Effect-y, and it's, it's a shame. I think they're probably gonna make another game. Probably. But, like, it, they're gonna be... Okay, Mass Effect is gonna be, like, one of those franchises that they just bury, and they just, like, leave it there for, like, ten years, and then they just, boop, come out and just, you know, go searching. They just, I don't know, they just, like, come out out of nowhere, and they make a new game, and they're gonna be like, oh, you know, we're going to appeal so the old fans, like the old fans, so that they could buy your game. So like they're probably gonna do that. Like very honestly, they're probably just gonna bury Mass Effect because Mass Effect still has like a lot, you know, to tell. Mass Effect could have, like, could have basically been Shepard. I don't, I don't get why it didn't star Shepard. It's really sad because Shepard's story was not ready to end. Like personally, I think it ended very badly. So I think like another game that would you know, Star Shepherd would have been like the best. For example, if you had like a romance with Lara, precisely, um, like the little blue babies, the little blue children, like something like that. Like that was that was a very sweet moment there, and it's sad that you never got to like see that. <sighs> anyway, tell me what your thoughts are down below. I don't know, like it or comment or whatever. I just I just felt like I had to talk about it. Because it's, it's really sad to see, like, one of your favorite franchises just be being buried just because, like, the studio didn't know how to fucking handle it. Not even the studio. It's not even the studio's fault. Just because EA didn't know 
what to put into Mass Effect so it could be a good game. They didn't know how to organize that shit, so that's basically EA's fault. <laughs> anyway, um, leave your thoughts in the comments. Like or dislike, I just don't care. I'm just, you know, giving a really honest opinion here. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.